the difference is the object uh, oriented concepts that comes into the when, when you start talking about object oriented programming languages what comes in first concept that I'm going to quickly cover is the encapsulation when you encapsulate all the properties and the methods in one block so this pen the properties of this pen it has a brand it has a length these are properties of the pen the function of the pen the method it writes so that's the function of that pen yeah so this is pretty much um, the, uh, the, the template of the object which we call it wallet. I've, I've named exactly the same thing that we're going to use later on. So we call it a wallet here. And here I've said uh, we've got a private property with balance. So it's going to have a balance. You can charge up the balance every time. And then we, we've got here, which I've also put comments here. So you can see there's a property uh, construct method here. We set the balance to zero. <laughs> yeah. so, so we put that to zero. Uh, we also got another construct, but this time, I know Imran, you was asking what's an argument yet. Yeah, so this is an argument here. So you've got double balance. So basically, it's taking a value here and then it's going to assign that value into the balance. That one sets it to zero, and that one's put a part of the value into it. And the only the only method that is going to do that, the function of this wallet object, it pay. So you pay. So every time you pay something, it's going to deduct the amount that you're going to pay from the balance. So the balance is always going to go down every time you make a payment. Very simple. Any, any questions for that? Simple or everyone's okay with that so far? Excuse me. Yeah, go for it. Uh, the constructor, do we have, how many constructors do we have there? We've got two constructors. Okay. We've got one that doesn't pass a value, which basically starts at zero. Okay. Doesn't have any arguments and the other one has an argument. Which passes value, which you're going to need in that example in that project I'm talking about. Yeah, you need both. Just in case you know so the, the customer wants to set up the account, but he has, doesn't want to charge up the card. I just want the card, okay. but I don't want to charge up the balance. So you use that. And if he's, he wants to, like, okay, I want the card and I want to deposit, you know, a hundred pounds, then you use the other constructor. Yeah. Excuse me, can we have a copy of this after the... I don't know why that's safe. <laughs> can we have a copy of this after the... the slides? Time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got the slides as well. Okay. Yeah. But I didn't want to just give it to you. I just wanted to show it okay. So inheritance, that should be a bit on that side. I don't know why it's centralized, but I'll sort that out. Um, I did it with open office, so maybe the template isn't quite the same. I'm using here Windows PowerPoint. Um, so inheritance... Everyone knows what inheritance is. You're inheriting from another object. So I'm giving you a quick example. I'm saying right, public class manager extends employee. So the manager is a kind of employee. They come in. Oh, yes. So the manager is a kind of employee, isn't it? So this is an example of is a employee. Yeah. The other thing uh, here we've said for well, the customer. This is another object, another uh, class object, where I'm saying that the customer has customer name, that's the property name, and he has also something else as well, he's got something called wallet balance. Wait a minute, what's this data type called wallet? Wallet is the object that we, we mentioned previously, didn't we? Let's go back. Right, this is the wallet. This is the object called wallet. And I've used it in another object as a, as a type. So it has, this is what's called a has a, has a wallet. You can't see that if it's bold, but if that one says is a, and that one says has a wallet. So that, we could do that in the application. We can create another object called customer, and inside the customer it has a wallet. So every customer has a wallet. Um, but obviously you're not asked that in the example. In the example, you just ask to build one object that deals with everything. But you could, you could also create a different object called customer, and then inside the customer he has a wallet, and that's the only two things he has in there. Um, you obviously know how to create an, uh, a template or an object. We put public class wallet. Yeah, I'm just basically showing you, and obviously you put here all the stuff that I mentioned on the previous slide. I'll try to explain. So I've just basically said, hey, you know, we so we can have an object in an object. And I, I kind of made it that statement as well. So you can have the slides at the end as well. Everything clear with has a and is a object? 